A house is being heated by a heat pump. The house is at a constant 22 degrees Celsius and loses heat at a rate of 160,000 kilojoules per hour when the outside temperature is minus 8 degrees Celsius. What is the power required to operate the heat pump, assuming maximum performance? As usual, pause here and try solving this yourself before watching the solution. This is the first example for the Carnot Cycles and Reversible Processes main lecture. The link to that 12-minute lecture and all the other examples and lectures of the Thermo course are found in the description below. Similarly to the non-Carnot Cycle examples from the previous lecture, we begin by drawing the system. There's a heat pump that provides the house with heat. Since the house is at a higher temperature than the surroundings, the house is the high temperature reservoir, so we label this heat QH. The house itself is losing heat at the given rate. This means that if we draw a control volume around the house, and for the house to remain at a constant temperature, the heat that comes in from the heat pump into the house has to be equal to the heat rejected by the house. And additionally, there is heat being drawn from the low temperature surroundings, QL, and for this to work, we are adding a work rate in, or power in. To find this work, which is the difference between QH and QL, we need to find QL. So our goal is to find how much heat is being drawn from the exterior of the house. The maximum coefficient of performance for this heat pump is when we substitute the heat variables, QH over QH minus QL, with the temperatures, like it was explained in the main video. We substitute the temperature values in Kelvin, like explained in the lecture video, and find the coefficient of performance. And since it should still be the same in terms of heat variables, and we know that QH minus QL is the work that goes into the pump, we substitute QH and solve for W in dot. And that's it. If you want to check out other examples for Carnot cycles and reversible processes, make sure to check out the links left down in the description below where you'll also find the links to the other lectures of the thermodynamics course as well as other engineering courses. Thanks for watching.